Dr. Diva Boone, one of the surgeons at the Norman Parathyroid Center in Tampa, Florida. In this video series, I'm going to be answering the most common questions we get at our center. First, by far, the most common question is simply, do I have parathyroid disease? And this one's a pretty easy one, because parathyroid disease is fairly easy to diagnose. Many people have found our site, parathyroid.com, because they've been told they have a high calcium level. And in fact, if you have a high calcium level, there's a pretty good chance that you've got parathyroid disease or a parathyroid tumor. We need to confirm this with one other blood test called parathyroid hormone. So with a calcium level and with a parathyroid hormone level, we can usually diagnose you with parathyroid disease. The next question is, well, what levels do you need to diagnose it? Parathyroid disease is almost always associated with high calcium levels. And high calcium depends on how old you are. For most adults, you're going to have a calcium level that's in the nines, somewhere usually between 9.4 to 9.9, .9, not really going above 10.0. If you're a younger adult, somebody in, in the teens or 20s, you can have calcium levels in the tens, maybe up to 10.5 or 10.6, and that's normal for you. But over time, most people will have calcium levels that drop down into the nines as they get older. This doesn't happen overnight when you turn 30 or 35, it happens gradually. As you get older, as you go into your 30s, late 30s, your calcium will drop down into the nines. For some people, for most people by the age of 35, their calcium is going to be in the nines. For almost everyone by the age of 40, you're going to have calcium levels in the nines. If you've got calcium levels that are higher than that, like I said, there's a good chance that you've got a parathyroid tumor. We need to do one more test before we can confirm, that's the parathyroid hormone level. If you've got a high calcium level and a high or normal parathyroid hormone level, then almost certainly you've got a parathyroid tumor. Thank you for listening. For more information about parathyroid disease, please visit our website, parathyroid.com. And if you want to see more videos, click on the video tab.